Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and this video is going to be about a bio blood group system and today I have prepared two very easy multiple choice questions for you. I hope everyone would be able to solve both problems. So uh, as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, choose your correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. In determining the phenotype for the ABO blood system, and here is the four answers to choose from. And uh, actually, if you're still confused which answer to choose, here is my explanation. In the ABO blood group system, there are three alleles A, B, and O. And allele A and allele B are co dominant, and allele O is recessive for both allele A and B. So this is dominant and this is recessive allele. So as you see the correct answer would be answer C. O is recessive. So answer A O is dominant over the A. As you see this is not true. B B is dominant over the A. This is also not true because A and B are co-dominant. So we can cross out this answer. And uh, all of the above also we can cross out because uh, we have here only one correct answer C. That O is recessive to both A and B. Next question. If one of your parents is blood type A and the other is blood type B, which of the following blood types would you likely to be? And once again, here we have five answers to choose from. And if you're still confused which answer to choose, here's my explanation. So uh, people who belong to blood group A, so this is phenotype A, uh, can be of the two genotypes. One would be A, A, another one would be A, O. Because people are deployed and we have two alleles for each variant of phenotype. And uh, phenotype B can be made by uh, alleles, that is one genotype would be B, B, and another one would be B, O. So both these genotypes would make one phenotype, that is B. And in order to solve our problem, let's take those genotypes that can produce maximum number of uh, genotypes and phenotypes. And this is going to be AO and BO. Uh, so, for example, if we build a Punnett square and we use one uh, blood group or genotypes that is AO and this is blood group A on the top and uh, another genotype for blood group B, BO on the side and when we build a Punnett square, as you see, uh, the possible genotypes would be AB, and this is blood group AB, so this is AB, answer D. Another one would be BO, and this is uh, blood group B, answer B. Another one would be AO, and this is answer A. And another one would be blood group O. Genotype OO would make blood group O. And this is answer C. So as you see, uh, the correct answer would be E, any of the above. So two parents who phenotypically belong to the blood group A and blood group B, we are not told here what is a genotype, so we can assume the genotypes that can produce maximum number of uh, variants in the progeny. So these two blood groups can produce four blood groups. And as you see, the correct answer would be E. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.